Marcus is quite right. Steve Soper has got one and the, past Jackie Oliver. Uh, the Studi Baker pulling off Patrick Watts out of the race. So the Studi has gone. Leaving its own cloud of smoke, but the Thunderbird keeps on advantage. Advancing 14th last time, 11th this time. Look at the wallow, the roll, the slide. But it's all held by the Great Dane. Absolutely awesome, isn't it? What a lump of iron that is. Really making some progress now. But uh, 2.8 the gap between first and second, another fastest lap to uh, Stippler. 135, 161. Christensen's done a 37.6. What? Yeah, lap 136 is, so he's lapping as quickly as anyone except for the Stippler Jaguar, which is a, did a 35 and has done a best lap of a 34. But everyone else, uh, TK's either as quick or quicker, and he's now having an attack in the Jaguar on the forward wall. He's got some sure reflexes, hasn't he? Yes, and I'm sure he'll be ahead by the time he gets there. And he's coming down to you, Bruce, I think, with probably uh, Steve Soper's Alpha at the next target. It certainly will. He won't know. He's just been given a five second penalty for hitting the chicane. Tom Christensen, now just wallow your way around into the entrance to St Mary's. Yes, Soper is the next target, but Anthony Reid is fighting. Fighting back, having just been past the Jaguar, clearly far more nimble than Thunderbird through St Mary's up to Lavin. Now let's just relish in the rear shot of the Thunderbird when it gets there. It wallows and it lurches, but Christensen doesn't seem to care. The Stippler now way out clear, five and a bit seconds clear. Ten seconds clear. And sorry, Tom it's Christensen Peso. sideways out of forward water as he comes down towards you, Bruce, and he's got that battle. The Austin's ahead, and I think um, he's got something hanging down from under there. Oh. And Michael Cain off on the grass, Rob Huff back ahead of him. They're really having great fun, those two, but they are going to have them some heavy metal coming up behind fairly quickly, I think. Can they do it? I reckon he's taken two seconds out of them this lap. Christensen in fifth. The amount of Cain third, third and fourth. The amount of opposite lock. That it's like a driving a super tanker, isn't it? The exhaust hanging off underneath it. He's got about half a turn of opposite lock on that massive bake light steering wheel. 2.7 seconds he took off them on that last lap alone. If it wasn't for the five second penalty, which that's what's known as the meatball. Yeah, there's the meatball. The meatball flag's been hung out. And you can see there that it's all come adrift and it's scraping in the road. It's actually not doing any damage. The problem is if it comes off, that's when it could do the damage. So the meatball going up for Christensen, but uh, that's not deterring the uh, battle between the A40s.